Dershowitz is excellent. She, the Miseducation of the American Elite and the Way to a Meaningful Life, explores the problems of modern elite universities and the negative effects they can have on young people and society as a whole. The Ivy League and the top tier schools just below them uh, make many students feel depressed and aimless in life, uh, wandering around like a group of sheep while failing to give them the skills necessary to lead a happy and fulfilling career in life. The book is divided into four main parts, each focusing on a certain aspect of these issues. The opening section focuses on the pressure that students are put under in order to go uh, jump through hoops set by admissions committees and get into a good school. Dershowitz says that students focus far too much on getting uh, straight A's and not the actual learning process, and um, in compiling the perfect list of extracurricular activities, which and th this causes an array of mental health issues. These expectations extend far beyond college admissions. One of his students wrote to him saying that Yale graduates are somehow wasting their degree by taking a job that can't pay at least $100,000 the first year. He says that this is why many graduates take up jobs that they might not necessarily enjoy, um, such as consulting, in order to show others, including their peers and their families, that they are making good use of their degrees. In the second section, Dershowitz claims that college is not only supposed to be a return on investment like many people believe. He suggests that students should uh, have the moral courage to experiment with what they want out of college. College is supposed to be a chance to learn to think critically, to reflect, to learn to debate and question ideas, not just to prepare you for your job. He says that in 2011, 80% of incoming freshmen said that it is essential to uh, be very well off financially, which just goes to show uh, how much how much emphasis young people are taught to put on uh, making money as opposed to the other benefits of an elite education, such as the chance to develop your own ideals and values. The main idea of this section is that students have lost the true meaning of a college education. This third section provides examples of how colleges have deviated from their intended purposes over the years. Many colleges have turned away from the traditional liberal arts education and guided and uh, shifted towards vocational training instead. Students are taught information but not guided by a mentor on what to do with it. Content knowledge in the age of the internet is found everywhere. As a result, the leadership class is technocratic and lacks the creativity to innovate or to solve problems that they haven't been prepared for by their elite education. Dershowitz also raises the issue that modern universities, pressured mostly by ranking systems such as that of US News, focus far too much on enhancing their own prestige and obtaining grants. This primarily takes the form of uh, excessive spending on research, where universities actively encourage their faculty to focus on research and, um, and hire graduate students or other underqualified people to teach their classes. In the final section, Dershowitz focuses on what the system of elite education does to the country as a whole. It reinforces the position of elites at the top of the socioeconomic ladder. To support this argument, Dershowitz says that the percent, the percent of students at the top 250 colleges from the top quarter of income went from 46% in 1985 all the way to 67% in 2006. He uses this, this statistic to show that privileged students uh, are guaranteed the students are guaranteed the resources they need to get into Ivy Leagues and other elite schools. The development of test prep tutors and other enrichment programs in recent years are easily paid for by their parents, by their parents, while lower income students do not have these resources afforded to them. Taking all these numbers into account, the system clearly favors upper class families.